Hey, Liam Ward here at LearnTheHarmonica.com. Now, a lot of you have asked what's in my gig case, and today I'm going to give you a sneaky peek. So here is my gig case, and it's decorated with my uh, various bands that I play with, uh, Sugarcane, Sticker, and some festivals that I've played. It's all very, very scruffy. Let's get it opened up and see what's inside. So here we go. Inside this basically standard sort of cheap uh, flight case, I have fitted it out with two rows for my diatonics and then I've got a couple of chromatics here and then some other paraphernalia and uh, this will get onto as well. But you'll see that my harps are ordered in key order and I keep them from G being the lowest up to F sharp. So it goes along the back and then along the front. The reason I do that is because I used to have them just shoved in a backpack and uh, it was a nightmare because I'd always pull out the wrong key and it now limits the amount that I get the wrong key. These are Andrew Zajac kind of sticky labels on the end. Again, I used to make my own and they just weren't very good and sticky. I find these bubble ones, which uh, you should be able to kind of make out, can't seem to get it to focus, but uh, they're really, really good. They're really solid and they stick on the end there. So I've got a lot of those. These are mainly out of the box harps. A lot of them are special 20s. Most of those black ones are special 20s. There's a few golden melodies, which you can see. They're almost all Hona. Just thinking if there's any, I think this might be a Suzuki. Uh, no, a Seidel. Um, but I mainly play Hona, and I am really not that into sort of buying the fancy, fancy harps, only because I gig so much. These harps, you know, they have to withstand a lot of playing day in, day out, gig after gig. So I'm kind of, special 20s for me, people often ask what harps I play, special 20s for me are a good all-rounder. They play great, but they last a long time and they, uh, for, for the money, they're really good. You know, I always feel when I pick up a special 20, it's going to generally do what I want. So, there are a few customs. There's one, there's another one, and there's one down here. This is a custom one as well. They're all sugarcane custom harps. They are awesome. To be honest, I'm a bit scared to play them too much because they're almost so good that I uh, I don't want to ruin them, you know, but they, they overblow a lot better. They're really lovely and in tune. They're just so responsive. They play really, really well. So there's a few of them in there, but you'll notice A and A. This this is kind of, it's not my gigging harp. I use it for special occasions, you know, and it's the same here. I mean, I've got three different C harps. This is my usual one, special 20. This golden melee don't play that often. And then again, this is just the custom one from Kane. This is a beautiful thing, by the way. Check out that. Pollock comb or bollock comb as I like to call it. Excuse my French. Um, so uh, yeah, that's, I mean, that's the diatonics. They're almost all plastic combs as well. I find, I don't know if I'm just a wet player, but wood tends to swell for me. Couple of chromatics. I don't play that much chromatic, but I do a little bit. This is the uh, CX-12, which is wonderful in that it comes apart really easily. I, uh, I'm holding the camera with one phone, so I'm not going to do it now, but you could basically take it apart in a few seconds. This is a more traditional chromonica. B flat and then C. This, uh, yeah, I play a lot of kind of... sort of um, C minor kind of style blues stuff on there. And then the, the one here... I, I learn pieces by heart, really, on chromatic for the jug bands I play with. Just just things that I've learned note for note. I don't really know what I'm doing. It's uh, it's all a con. I'm conning you. I, I know nothing. <laughs> um, so, here I have my pride and joy, my microphone. This is a Greg Human microphone. So, it's that bullet style. 
This is a pretty basic model. He does all kind of fancy stuff. You can get your name or initials printed on the grill. You can get all sort of fancy stuff added to it. But I basically got a basic uh, human element in there and chose the wood and went for this stealth volume control. Check this out. When the wood grain lines up, that's full volume. And then when you turn the other way down to kind of mismatched, then that's the lowest volume. That is a wonderful, wonderful thing. And that gets me along with my valve amp or tube amp, that gets me the uh, kind of gritty blue sound that I like to go for with my electric band. Now, what is going on here? <laughs> it's a mess. These are vocal zones, which I've been told by proper singers and people who I trust, i.e. my sisters, who are, uh, uh, you know, they're, they're not like me, harmonica players who just sing, they're, they're professional singers. They uh, told me they're a load of crap because they basically just numb your throat. But, you know, me and the Rumble Strutters have a little bit of a tradition of taking one before a gig just because they taste disgusting. And, uh, yeah, we uh, it's just become a bit of a thing we do. So that, um, I'm actually low. I think I've only got one. Is there even one in there? Yeah, that's empty. Oh, no, there's one in the corner there. So, uh, yeah, need some more of them. Loads of business cards. This is like... Uh, you know, who am I today? So, I have got my various bands and my kind of, uh, you know, my my own cards. And then, of course, the harmonica cards. So, it's kind of uh, depends who I am today, uh, what guys I'm in. And then, oh, I should show you this custom one. This is my low-tuned C harmonica. And this is a lovely low C. He uh, he wrote Rumble Strutters on the back, which I didn't ask him to, but that means I can't leave the band now. Bugger. So uh, this is a 12-hole low C, and it's uh, I mainly use it for that kind of bye-bye bird um, sort of thing, Sonny Boy Williamson. <laughs> Couple more things in this little pocket here. These, well, I mean, that's just a leather harmonica case as it happens, but I'm using it to store thimbles. I uh, play washboard a bit with some of the jug band stuff, and that has got the all important thimbles in there. And then, earplugs, the musician's secret weapon. If you haven't got ears as a musician, you're pretty useless. So they are priceless when it comes to uh, going to a gig. So that's the main gist of what I take along to a gig. Really, I suppose there's nothing special. You know, I've just got my, my bog standard harps and a few bits and bobs. I've also got a case over here, toolkit of, I call it the stuff I never need, but I take it to gigs anyway, just in case. There's always something, there's always something that if I don't take it, I'm going to need it. So that's my kind of a add-on as well. And then, I mean, it depends what gig I'm doing. You know, here's my amp. Pedals, don't use them that often. Drugs. My jug collection is growing. People keep on giving me drugs. Drugs? Jugs, drugs, jugs, drugs. Mm. Yeah. Got to be careful there. Um, and then a merch case and all sorts of stuff. But uh, yeah, that's the inside of my gig case. You can come and see it in real life if you come along to a gig. And I'll show you the latest incarnation of it. This is just what we've got today. So thank you for asking to see this. And uh, I'll be back very soon with a kind of proper lesson. Until then, enjoy your playing. Take care. Cheers.